Brainstorming. Something that some find very difficult and would say is useless. A waste of time. Well, it is if you're not doing it right. Run yourself a bath, pour yourself a glass of wine, light some candles and think. You know you can't take your computer in the bath, right? What I'm saying here is... Find a low-tech approach to start with. Get some highlighter pens and some post-it pads and write 10 ideas down. Splat them on the wall. Write 10 more ideas down. Splat them on the wall. Write 10 more down. Splat them on the wall. Do some business-focused technological brainstorming and then do some personal brainstorming. Put 10 personal ideas down. Put another 10 personal ideas down. This is so you can make the emotional connection later on. So what you have when you've started to do brainstorming is a whole pile of ideas, many of which, let's face it, you may not use. So what? Nobody knows what ends up in the cutting room floor. One of the biggest mistakes orators or public speakers make is they do not enough analysis and then they go straight for the construction part. They start constructing a finished article. This is an iterative process and using a low-tech approach, post-it pads and highlighter pens, flip charts or whatever, without putting your computer on, shows you that you have a rough draft because that iterative process over a period of time will hone your presentation towards something that is deliverable. So at the end of your brainstorming session, you've got a whole pile of ideas up in the wall. And here's finally another thing to say to you. Once you think you've finished, go round again. Take some of your big ideas and get 10 more ideas off of them. Resist the idea to go to construction too early.